Hey, cutie pies, it is Lanikia, and I am coming to you with another episode of The Young and the Restless. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're looking to work from home, check out my work from home videos on the channel as well. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, y'all know how we do it. I'm going to have to give this one, you know what, it was a solid episode. I'm going to give it a 7. Um, so we see um on this episode that... Oh, wait, 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 wait. So Nick, Nikki, and Victor are in the um, office talking about Victoria. Y'all know how they do. They just, they, they don't give us all the details on Young and the Restless. And they make us just assume that we know what happened. So we're, they say Vicky, Vicky um, Victoria bolted out of the office after, you know, she was upset. She found out about Ashlyn. She bolted out of the office. So they're very concerned about her. Um, Nick says he's been trying to reach her, but he has not heard from her. Don't worry about it, Nick, because Victor already got people trailing her, finding out what's going on, you know, making sure she's okay. And he is, she stayed in the hotel the night before. So she didn't even go home to be with Ashlyn or anything like that. She stayed in the hotel. So then we see that um, they start talking about how they need to be there for her, but they're afraid that maybe she forgives Ashlyn. And Nikki said, what? Victoria wouldn't would um i don't know if she would she would for, forgive him after all he's done and all the information she's found out and nick said listen we've given her information in the past and she's forgiven him she's found a way to excuse away and forgive him um so we're not gonna say that this couldn't be possibly done this time around as well um, Victor just said, but Nikki says, you know what? We got to give her our love and support and it doesn't matter. We're not thinking about the company. They, and they're really not. They're not thinking nothing about the company. All they're thinking about is Victoria, which we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this, pick that back up later that they're not thinking about the company. So, so then we see that, um, Victor is just like, he has people on her. They're going to be watching her every move, seeing where she goes and all that. So they're going to know um, what she's doing. And then Nick brings up the fact that Ashlyn is so crazy that he, he he did all this to get control of the company. And there's no telling what he would have done to Victoria if um, if she had been in his way. Because he all he wanted was to have Newman and Locke merged and of course he's brought this up before and they're just like who knows but now that victoria knows as bad as ashlyn is they don't want to think that he would he could possibly do that so that was it with vicky damn why do i keep calling nikki vicky that was it with nikki Vic, um nick and victor um so then we see um, um victoria is you know She's thinking about what happened, how Ashlyn was at the office and how he gave her this spiel about, I love you, but I can't do this and everything. And, you know, she's just upset. She's wearing her one sleeve because y'all know the women on this show, the uh, <laughs> the um, wardrobe love to put them in one sleeve. They look good in it, though, but they love to put these girls in one sleeves. But um, Victoria is there. She's having a cup of coffee and she's just, you know thinking about what's what's happened or whatever and then billy shows up and he's like are you okay victoria and she was like yeah i'm good i'm good and he was like no no victoria i don't think you're okay actually i'm doing most interested the least interested today because <laughs> i liked i was into this storyline but he says um no victoria i don't think you're okay because I, you know, I know you, this is not an okay you. So he sits down and she says, she starts telling him, you know, you, you just, or you were always were wanting to tell me about Ashlyn and how he was so wrong for me. And so they start recanting the past and everything. And he just says, listen, I, I don't, Ashlyn, Ashlyn has done some shady stuff and no, I did not think he was the man for you. And she was like, all the things you did to me, um, trying to prove that Ashlyn was a bad guy. And he said, I lost my company because of that. You know, I lost a lot because I wanted to try to protect you and everything. And she said, and it's all true. And he was like, what's going on, Victoria? And so she tells him, she said, Ashlyn lied about everything. He lied about having cancer. He lied about, um, he just lied about having cancer. He about, lied about loving me. He lied about, you know, why he want, you know, why he wanted to be in the town and just wanting to be with her. He just lied. And Billy said, are you, wait, 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 
are you telling me this man lied about cancer? And she said, yes, he never had cancer. She said he just used that as an excuse to gain sympathy from me because I'm the dang weak link. And Billy was like, no, you're not. She was like, yeah, I am. I was the weak link. He used that to gain sympathy from me to rush her into this relationship where it was just like, we have so little time, let's live for the moment. And then, oh, he miraculously miraculously was cured um, with Peru. Uh, in Peru by the doctors. I'm sorry, I'm watching the um, U, of, U, H, U of H. Sorry. Anyways, he was miraculously cured by the doctors in Peru or whatever. And she said, that was all a lie. He just did that to get control of the company. In it. And Billy is just like, are you kidding me? And so she says, no, like, and go ahead, say, I told you so. And he said, uh-uh, Victoria, I'm not going to say I told you so. Because Billy is a... Billy is a great, a nice man, like, and he truly cared for Victoria. Yes, he made a lot of mistakes with her. They made a lot of mistakes. And, um, but he's a good man. And truth be told, Billy acts a little better when he's in them scenes with Victoria. But I digress. Um, so Billy is just telling her, no, I'm not going to rub this in your face. I'm not going to say anything bad about this because you love that man. And, even though I, he was like, I, he said, yeah, I knew he was a bad man because like who lets their friend die and then takes over their life. You know, he was like, but you believed in him. So I wanted that to be happiness for you. So he did not rub that in her face or anything. Um, and tell, you know, say anything bad about, you know, her being naive to believe him. But she, I mean, he didn't have to. She was beating herself up enough um, being like, she was like, I, he just saw my weakness. He used me. I can't believe that I was in love with this man. I'm having these powerful moments where I'm loving him and so afraid, praying for him, so afraid that he might die or something could happen to him. He, he was using me the whole time. Yes, girl, it'd be like that sometimes. Um, and then she said what Nick had been saying, which we're all starting to think now, was that his whole the whole reason he did that this, this was to be with the company, right? He, he wanted to merge with the company. Now, what was he gonna do? And because Billy was like, What's his end game? Like, what was his end game? He got you, he got the company. She said, I she thinks he wanted the company to itself, and the only thing that was in the way was her. So she like I don't know what he would have done to me. So then Billy is like, has he ever threatened you? Have he ever said anything that made you mistrust him? She was like, no. But she said, but honestly, I don't know him because this was such a long con game that, oh my gosh. And so Billy just, you know, uplifts her and tells her, you're a strong woman. You'll get through this. She said, I don't feel like that right now. But he said, Victoria, you will get through this. So then Victoria gets up. She leaves. She thanks Billy and she tells him, you know, I just need this conversation between to be between the two of us and he was like what conversation girl and he was like what conversation and so then um victoria is just sorry hold on let me move this camera so then victoria um leaves and she puts her coffee up and ashley comes in and he's like victoria i've been trying to reach you or whatever so we'll see what happened there because in the preview it looks like but i don't believe that i don't believe that i think she's just playing the role um i don't know what she's doing but um okay so then we go to um at, before ashley met victoria at the coffee place he sees adam adam he's he's having you know his morning um and adam and sally come in sally goes and sits down because adam is like i need to talk to him or whatever and so when she he go she goes and sits down, Adam goes and speaks to Ashlyn. And when he goes and speaks to Ashlyn, um, Victoria, he talk they talk about Victoria, and Adam is just like, why you know, at first um Ashlyn was like, Oh my gosh, no matter what you do, people you don't want to see keep coming around and it's you. You keep popping up. And Adam was like, you know, it is what it is. But he said, but Adam sits down and he pretty much tells um Ashlyn, what you did to the Newmans, like, I mean, if I wasn't a Newman, I would congratulate you, he said, because you played that long con and you won off that, he said, but because I am a Newman, it is my job to protect the Newmans, he said, so let me tell you what we're going to offer you, go ahead and leave town and give up your rights at, to the company, you know, CEO, step down, do all that, and we won't put all that you've done into the paper. 
And Adam is just, and Ashlyn's like, why would I do that? Um, and Adam is like, because you don't want Harrison to know what you've done. And he says, Harrison is living with his biological dad. He said, yeah, but you sent him away because you said it was re related to cancer. You didn't want him to see you withering away. He said, but honestly, what you didn't want was just in case this went wrong and it fell out. You didn't want him knowing the type of man you were or whatever. So anyways, long story short, Adam tells him, if you don't step down, then we're going to put the information in the paper and um, in Newman Media and everybody's going to know and it's going to reach your son. Now, Ashlyn, he was like, he, he tried to pretend, play it cool like he didn't care or whatever, but he did because he told Adam, don't ever bring up my son to me um, again. And, he, you know, he left. But um, Ashlyn is just really trying to play cool. Really, I think they're giving Ashlyn too much time. Like, y'all need to go ahead and put it in the paper. Like, forgive Victoria being embarrassed. Y'all need to put this in the paper to shame Ashlyn into leaving. But I really don't think this is going to shame him into leaving. Ashlyn is not going anywhere, I think. So then we go to Adam and Sally talking. And she said, oh, it was nice seeing you were real confident. The more you talk to him, the more confident you got. And she said, do you think you got through to him? He's, and he was like, Adam likes to, Ashlyn played it cool, but I know the thought of Harrison know, knowing what he did has affected him. And so he's like, right now, the family is all worried about Victoria and her feelings and everything. Nobody's looking out for the company. He says, so I got to look out for the company. Mm -hmm. And Sally was like, you're right. We're going to be the people that picks up the pieces. We're going to um, be the people that let the employees know everything is smooth sailing here we're going to be the people that 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 our enemies you know fear and know we're they, we're not weak you can't come from us come for us now we're going to you know handle all this and she said and then your family is going to see you for you know that that you should be the rightful owner because you're you know smart intelligent and you love this company and you should be that owner because you'll make the hard decisions and the tough and I I was like okay Sally speak life into this man go ahead and she was like because she was talking to him and he was like see that's why that's why I need you because I've never had that and that's the type of you know person that I need so they kiss or whatever and it's all good. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's going on with them. They also show Ray and Chelsea. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care. <laughs> they show Ray and Chelsea and it was just her talking about Connor and her, she's got a tween and he's difficult or whatever. And Ray was just breathing life. It was a lot of people breathing life into each other today. He was just telling her she was a great mom and she started tearing up and, and he was like, you're going to be okay. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like what y'all trying to do right here, but okay. Um, and that was the Young and the Restless today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you the next time. Monday.